No one needs this look. No one wants this look. Nobody asked for this look, but here it is, honey. I'm Mr. Green Christmas. I'm Mr. Sun. I'm Mr. Heat's Blister. I'm Mr. Hundred and One. How are you? My name is Jewel Paris, and because I'm trash, I'm doing a heat miser inspired makeup tutorial. Also, I'd like to apologize beforehand. I have my computer hooked up to be my monitor since the DSLR is way too far away. So if I look here, it's because I can actually see a mirror to do. Okay, you get it. Bye. I was like all four. I was like, let's do a chatty get ready for with me. I was like, they're pretty cute. I like them well enough when I watch them on YouTube. Well, I'm glad I organized this all beforehand. I'll just rub this in first starting off. Funny story, um, don't use your teeth to open things because um, a long time ago when I was in a softball game, I thought it was a good idea to try to unstrap the buckle on my helmet with my teeth because I could not get it with my hands. And now I have a chip in my tooth. You can't see it, it's unfocused, but I'm not gonna refocus it just so you can see that. Not right now. Not after I worked so hard to get this focusing the way it is. Okay, so this is the light Smashbox photo finish. I have no idea what this primer is supposed to do. Like the other one is like they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You... I don't know. But this one is light, so I don't know. Maybe it's just supposed to be light on the skin, or is it supposed to, like, reflect light? Hopefully not. I'm not trying to be, like, flashback Mary. Now I'm going in with my Kat Von D foundation in a shade that actually suits me. No, it doesn't. None of the shades suit me. Also, this, my mirror is really laggy. I don't know why that is though. I don't know, I should talk about something. I don't know what to talk about. I finished high school finally, I'm graduated. I have to bleep that, I don't want to get my channel like Demonetize before it's even monetized. Also, yes, I'm using these Vanity Planet brushes that Sarah Basca hooked me the F up with. Instead of a beauty blender, I'm using this. Also, I hope this video is not too long. It's already four minutes, it says. That's good. I'm glad that it's going to be a 16-hour video. I should hurry. Can't find my concealer. Um, we won't use any. We don't need any. We don't need any. Yes, we do. Um, I just figured out, um, the other day, by that, I mean yesterday, I just figured out, I've been vegan for eight months now, so... I'm pretty proud of that. You probably didn't even know I was vegan. This is going to be boring. When I did the voiceover, it was fine. Because, like, with a voiceover, you can just talk and, like, re-record sound. And, like, you make sure you know what you're saying. But, like, with this, it's like... I have to talk to you and, like, I don't have things to say. I'm not interesting. I don't have things to say. Just kidding. I always have a lot of things to say, but I always forget them the instant I hit record. Now I'm just bronzing up my face. I'm not really contouring yet. Just bronzing. I could probably have used a better brush for this, but we're using that same Kabuki brush because I'm trash. Now we're going to contour. Pro tip I just learned recently when contouring um, and bronzing use a warm tone for your bronzer and use a cool tone for your contour
Also, I'm not good at contouring, but better at contouring than the last time you saw me do my makeup. I feel like this one has like too much, but it also could just be the angle and lighting and I also can't see. I used to really, really contour my forehead, but now I try to like do it just like not as much because my forehead is actually not that big. I feel like it's more important to contour the sides to make my face seem like thinner and longer as opposed to like I used to contour like all of this so like it would make my face shorter like it would so that just makes it look even more round which there's nothing wrong with having a round face because I do have a round face but it doesn't always look the best in pictures now I'm using this brush to blush up my face. I don't really have anything to say to you. This is going to be so boring for you until we get to the eyeshadow part. Like I'm just putting on my face. It's not that interesting. Now I know a lot of people wait to do highlight last, but um, that's not the highlighter I want. Not me. Um, Um, oh, one thing that I can talk to you about, I don't know if you can see, can you see, this is Toby right here, if you didn't know who my dog was, you don't know me, this is Toby, my dog, um, I don't know if you can tell, he has a little cone on his head, um, he just had surgery, he just got some, like, fat tumors removed from his stomach, Also, it's so weird, but like dog surgeries are like not nearly as expensive as human surgeries, I feel like. Because I feel like if I get a surgery, it's going to be like thousands of dollars. But like they had an invasive surgery, they cut him open, put him under anesthesia, and like it was less than $400. Anyways, he's just resting here. The surgery was yesterday, so like he's still not used to his cone yet, so he's still like running into things like every other step he takes. I didn't really notice before, and I don't know if this is all dogs that do this, but when he walks, he likes to walk right next to things. Like, um, I guess you could say he's like skirting the room, some people would say. Anyways, he likes to skirt next to the wall or next to the table. He likes to like have his body touching things and now that he has the cone, he can't do that because the cone will like snag, which it's like kind of funny but like also kind of sad, so. Like you laugh but then you're like, oh, like that kind of laugh. Alright, now it's time to do my eyebrows. I'm actually going to do this in this handheld mirror like Nikki tutorial style. The monitor is too far away. I almost just used highlighter to um, do my brow. What a look. This is not the full face of highlighter challenge though. This happened in my, not my last video but the one before that. I cannot talk and do things at the same time. Okay. Noted. Also, what is up with people telling other people how to do their makeup? Not like in a tutorial where you're like, hey guys, like this is how you get the look that's on my face, but saying like, um, you can't do your brows this way, like, it looks bad, like, if someone does their brows a certain way, obviously they don't think that it looks bad. You should let people enjoy the things that they want to enjoy. I guess it's time. We're going to do um, the heat miser part of the look because this was just my base, which I realized I probably should have done this off camera, but like it is what it is, haha. <laughs> okay, so I'm going in with the Modern Renaissance palette. Here are some eyelashes. Um, if going in with burnt orange, and I'm going to be using the mirror from this too, so. 
Oh god, I... Okay. Um, we'll just blend it out, I guess. Let me just talk about this. I just got this palette the other day. Oh my gosh, is it pigmented. I'm used to the um, Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, which like, it's good. But like, for some reason, I feel like this palette, the pigment, it's like, like on another level. Which is strange because I feel like the palettes are about the same price. Now I'm going to be taking Real Gur. This is going to be kind of like a halo eyeshadow look. You'll see. And we're going to be blending that into the crease. To just deeply intensify what we've got going on. My grades are great, I graduated, but like they were great, nothing below a 95% in any of my classes, my dog is healing from his surgery, like life is good. Now I'm going to be taking um, Venetian Red and we are going to put this in our crease as well, which you're like, why would you do that because you're just kind of mudding all the colors together and you'll see at the end it it will it will just come together okay it's gonna it's gonna do it now that we've used that brush 16 times we're gonna use a different one this time we're going to take raw sienna and then we're going to put that on like the outer corner of our lid and the inner corner of the lid. Now I'm taking Primavera and going on the center of my lid. Dream of your girl. What can I say? I'm an icon. Is there a Primavera pasta or what is that called? Okay, now Jeffree Star and Nikki Tutorials. They're about to cry at the act that I'm about to perform, but um, I'm going to take my finger and um, put this on my lid because for some reason it's much more pigmented that way. Now I'm going to take Primavera again and go in my inner corner. We're going to go in on the lower lash line with burnt orange and then we are going to take red ochre and then connect our little outer corner to our lower lash line Moonstone is the perfect highlighter for this look, so if you're going to do this look, which I know you're not because who wants to look like heat miser? Just me, I know, okay? I live for it. Anyways, Moonstone is the perfect highlighter for this, so for authenticity, use Moonstone. I'll curl my lashes a little bit first. Now I guess it's time to put on mascara with my Benefit Better Than Sex mascara that's basically gone not basically it's gone there's like half a percent of product on here am I ambidextrous no 
this is gonna end very badly. When you start talking, but the camera's not recording. Okay, what I was saying was, now we're gonna be doing a little bit crazy. We're getting a little bit more heat misery. So what I'm going to do is be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to be creating a lip look with it. So we're going to take our favorite um, color for this look, burnt orange, and we're going to be putting that straight onto the lip. And then we're going to be taking Primavera and putting it in the center. Has anyone ever used Primavera for a highlight? I feel like it would be good. We're we're doing it, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of product on there. Oh my gosh. Such a pretty gold color. So am I heat miser or what? If you wanted, you could put lashes with this look, but I'm not going to just because I feel like we will lose a little bit of the effect. Here is your finished heat miser look. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button on my channel. And if you want to be notified when I upload those videos, hit the no Okay, I'm glad I'm a YouTuber. Hit the notification button to be notified when I upload those videos. I don't know why I all of a sudden can't talk, mamma mia. Anyways, so bye.